What's going on guys? Welcome to BNT's Radical Bows and Pythons. And today we're going to talk about rats and mice. And this little fella. And we're going to talk about rat and mouse euthanasia and caging as well. Stay tuned because here we go. guys so here we have one of our mouse cages um, these were actually purchased from triple l reptile you can also buy them from reptilebasics.com um, i've got 12 of these in a pack i think for two i want to say 260 um, that's with the tops and water bottles as well that i ordered with them uh, the measurements here are uh, 12 inches long by seven and a half inches wide. I'm going to show you the top here real quick. Um, so these just lay right on top just like this. And this side holds your food. These are the water bottles that come with them. Well, that you order with them, I should say. Um, this here is a little metal divider holds down if needed the water bottle just goes right here in this little hole uh we normally do here at bnt's radical bows and pythons a two to one ratio in these that's two female mice per one male mouse and uh then we will breed them up and freeze them as needed for our snakes and here's what we use for our rats here at B&T's. Um, this is 12 inches wide by 18 inches long. This will also hold a 2 to 1 ratio, uh, 2 females to 1 male. And let me get the topper for it here. Just lays on there just like that. Now for the rat one, it actually has th these latches that lock the lid down which is very nice. Uh, I love these. The mouse ones, the, the the mice don't actually get out of them because they aren't strong enough to actually l lift that lid. Rats are quite a bit stronger than mice, so it has these latches here. Um, also here at b and what we feed our rats and mice is Missouri 6F rodent block. Um, it's pretty much the best of the best when it comes to rodent breeding food. 
Um, also, the water bottles, you can order those as well. A lot larger ones for the rat cages. Just goes right in the little hole, just like the mouse cages. And you can also order these as well at triplelreptile.com or at the reptilebasics.com. All right, guys, here we are back at it again. Um, we're going to be talking about rat euthanasia and mouse euthanasia. Um, a lot of people, if you are a rat or mouse breeder, you will understand. Um, we'll take the animal and simply just knock it out, as in uh, t taking it by the tail and hitting the animal on something, knocking it completely unconscious and or dead. Uh, here at b and we do not like to do it that way. So we use what is called a euthanasia chamber. And it is, it is used uh, with CO2 as to simply smother the, the animal in that gas in just a matter of seconds. There is no trauma, nothing like that. They simply just go to sleep. Um, here's the euthanasia chamber. It is simply just a 32 gallon tote. 32 quart tote, excuse me, with a rubber seal all the way around the top, and it is used. Sorry, it's a little dirty. Um, you can also see right here on the top of this is a little clear piece of hose that you would use like in a fish tank as an airline. Um, we put this end of the hose inside of a cup of water so that when the gas comes up through the tubing, it transfers into the cup of water, making it H2O and not as to us breathing in that gas, causing us to pass out and or the animals to pass out or die in that matter. Um, on the end of the tote here, we have the little tip nozzle that we would plug the gas into. This tip right here is actually a tip off of, 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 of a paintball gun off of the end of the gun. And we have took a soldering iron and heated up a little bitty hole around there. And I just simply screwed that in there. And it holds very well, actually. So um, then you would take the CO2. And it is also from a paintball gun. Now you can get a bigger sized tank like those big humongous balloon tanks that you see at like Kmart the and Walmart and all of that good stuff. But uh, we simply just use these, it's just a lot easier. Uh, I think th this one will was like 20 bucks online. You can buy them on eBay, Amazon, something like that. Uh, comes with the hose to hook up to a paintball gun as well. Um, so you just take the hose, plug it into the side of the adapter on the toe here, turn this on, and uh, the gas will smother the animal basically putting it to sleep in a matter of two to three seconds and th the animals will pass um, it is then when we put our animals into uh, big gallon ziploc bags and we will freeze them for as long as we need and we will thaw them out as needed for our snakes uh, for the boas and the bloods and the ball pythons. If you have any questions regarding any of this and you would like to learn how to make your own euthanasia chamber, you can uh, email me at btradicalboas at yahoo.com. That's btradicalboas at yahoo.com. Thanks for having us today, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.